All right, guys, we got an 05 F-150. And we're just doing rear brakes today. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward brakes. 10 millimeter on the back. I'm gonna take these small fin bolts out. Careful with these bolts. If they're in there real good, they can snap. As far as these brakes go, just wanna make sure you clean and grease everything. Pretty simple brakes. Wasn't worried about these ones snapping. They didn't seem too bad. When you're retorquing them, don't over torque them. You can snap them. They're real thin. This one's grinding, so hopefully the caliper doesn't give me any trouble here. I'm going to try to get the screwdriver in there and press the caliper. Ooh, it's stiff, but it went back enough for me to get the caliper off. Well, compressed a little, I should say. There we go. Caliper is off. That's what I love about these. You don't have to take a mounting bracket off or anything. Real simple brakes. All right, time to get that rotor off. We're gonna take a big hammer. It's on there pretty good and smack it. Right there, left side, right side, go back and forth. Because we're replacing this rotor, we can tap on the back side too to help it come off. Let's get that off real quick. All right, we hammered that rotor off. Lots of pieces falling out while hammering. Looks like this shoe was just crumbled down in the bottom of the inside of that rotor. Now's the time to decide whether or not you want to replace your e-brakes. Get a shoe and hardware kit. These are rotted. Time to call the customer and see if they care about their e-brake. But we're going to move on. We're going to take these little slide hardware off because the new brake pads come with new hardware it's really important to clean these up real good underneath there they get rusted they expand and then the pads get tight so i'm going to take those that hardware off and wire wheel both of those ears real nice and clean and then put grease on them to help prevent corrosion in the future got my ears cleaned up greased up I put the hardware on the bottom one already you gotta tap these on with a hammer a little bit they kind of clip in I'm ready to see if that caliper will compress it seems stiff so I went ahead and put the heavy-duty tool on right off the get you can use big channel locks C clamp uh, cheap cheap compressor tool this is my heavy-duty tool I could put a socket right on the end and see if she goes so let's see if that compresses all right it was turning back our pretty well and then i hit a spot where it didn't want to turn back the rest of the way see the piston still out a bit so i remounted it because it was so hard to hold on to this caliper i might recommend replacing if you've ever taken these apart all that happens is there's a seal back here and rust gets around the piston of the caliper you can actually pop the piston out clean them up pop them back in but uh, I don't really recommend it I've done it before um, it's just really hard to get that piston back in the boot and you don't want to mess up the seal but so I remounted enabled in order to uh, get enough force to turn that caliper piston back in my little dremel tool and just kind of cleaned up the ears there was a lot of built up rust there i'm going to grease those ears in the caliper piston where they contact the pad that's going to help with squealing noise down the road 
but I've taken these sliders out of these boots. They're really rusted. This is a part of the job that a lot of people don't do. You need these to slide freely. So I'm gonna put those on my wire wheel, my bench grinder wire wheel, clean those up, grease them, and put them back in the slots, and then grease that caliper. I got my slide pens back in, greased up. Got some grease inside those boots. So where the slide contacts the inside of the boot, that's where you want your grease. Grease the ears, greased where the piston contacts the pad. We're gonna go ahead and pop the pads into the caliper. See, there's two different options. You wanna take your old pad and make sure you're picking the right outer pad. The inside pads are the same. The outside pads, they have this little clip. So I'm gonna use this one for this side. It's the same as that old pad. I'm gonna clip these pads into the caliper. All right, put the pads in the caliper. They snap in, put your inside one in first. If you put the outside on first, it won't leave you enough room. Now there's a groove at the top pad. So you gotta fit the top pad in first into the ear. And then you can tap the bottom in and that spring will lock in. And it might not go on if these sliders are hitting the ear. You gotta push them all the way back. Now, I put a little extra grease on these ears where they contact the sliding hardware. We're gonna put the two bolts in the back, tighten it down, throw the tire back on, and that should do it. One more thing, these rotors come with like a shipping oil, keep them from rusting on the shelf. So spray them down with brake cleaner. That was 21 millimeter on the lug nuts. And before you put it in gear, make sure you prime that brake pedal. Pump it slowly a few times and then pump it more until those brakes get stiff.